Thank you for joining us for another episode of Marking the Times. I appreciate you taking time to watch our, our video blog where we um, answer questions that you all send in on our Facebook page and also talk about events currently happening in the world today. Uh, what I want to talk about uh, in our episode today is about the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Uh, one of the things I hear a lot from people today is how a lot of prophecies, end time prophecies, are being fulfilled today. Uh, people will look at things like, you know, natural disasters like we see with, with Hurricane Dorian. Um, there'll be, you know, uh, floods and, and tornadoes and drought in different parts of the world. And they'll say, well, that's the fulfillment of prophecy. Or they'll look at events happening in the Middle East today and they'll say, well, there's Bible prophecies are being fulfilled. Or they'll look at some things that are happening in the land of Israel today and uh, constantly talking about how prophecies are being fulfilled today. Um, I don't really, I don't hold the view that a lot of prophecies are being fulfilled today. Now, I know some Bible prophecy teachers do, and some of you who listen to other prophecy teachers may hear that language uh, quite a bit. Uh, but what I see today in our world is not the fulfillment of prophecy, but the foreshadowing of the fulfillment of those prophecies in the future. Um, what I see today is, is the stage being set for the fulfillment of prophecies in the future. So my view is, is that really the fulfillment of prophecy, of, of most end time prophecies will occur, obviously during the end times. So after the rapture takes place and the, and the tribulation period begins, that's when these prophecies will begin to unfold and find their fulfillment. And so we live today in the church age, and we live in the time when the stage is being set for the fulfillment of those prophecies. Obviously, uh, the events of the end times won't occur in a vacuum. Uh, there has to be a setup for those things. And so we live in this time of, of, of the, the paving the way or the preparation for the fulfillment of those prophecies. Um, there's a, a quote uh, from a, in a book by Tommy Ice and Tim Demme about fulfillment of prophecy today. And I thought I'd read this. I think I find it really helpful. It says, The present church age is not a time in which Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. Now, I'm going to qualify that statement in just a few moments. But I agree with it overall. Then they say Bible prophecy relates to a time after the rapture, the seven-year tribulation. However, this does not mean God is not preparing the world for that future time during the present church age. In fact, he is. But this is not fulfillment of Bible prophecy. So while prophecy is not being fulfilled in our day, it does not follow that we cannot track general trends in current preparation for the coming tribulation, especially since it immediately follows the rapture. We call this approach stage setting. That's what I just mentioned earlier. And then, then he says this. This is a good little example. So just as many people set their clothes out the night before they wear them the following day, so in the same sense, God is preparing the world for the certain fulfillment of prophecy um, in a future time. And so I agree with that, that statement overall. A lot of people will go to passages like Matthew chapter 24, and uh, they'll point to the signs of the time that Jesus said, you'll be hearing of wars, rumors of wars. Um, these things um, um, must take place, but it's not yet the end. Nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, in various places, famines, earthquakes, and uh, so on. And so when they see these things happening, they'll say, well, these are the fulfillments of prophecy that relate to the coming of Jesus. And my view is I put Matthew 24, these prophecies here, in the tribulation period. I take it these are events that will happen in the future after the rapture during the coming time of tribulation. So you might ask and say, well, well, are there any prophecies being fulfilled today? And I think there are two main prophecies today that are in process of being fulfilled. One is the regathering of the Jewish people to their homeland. Um, that is the main precondition really for all other Bible prophecy to be fulfilled. In fact, the tribulation period can't start till the Jewish people are in their land because the tribulation starts when the Antichrist comes and makes a treaty with Israel. Obviously, you can't make a treaty with them if they don't have their own land. So I think the regathering of the Jewish people to their land is a major uh, prophecy that is being fulfilled. And I say it's being fulfilled because in 1948, when the modern state of Israel was founded, um, there were 6% of the Jews in the world living in Israel. Uh, the, the recent numbers I've seen are about 45% today of all the Jews in the world live in the nation of Israel. So they're being regathered to their land. And so I see that as a fulfillment of prophecy that's in progress. Another fulfillment of prophecy I see is apostasy within the church. And the reason that prophecy is being fulfilled today is that's a church age prophecy. It has to do with uh, this current age in which we live of the church. So a lot of the apostasy, the false teaching, the falling away, 
uh, that we see, the heresy that we see uh, within professing Christianity today, uh, that's another prophecy that I think is being fulfilled uh, in this current age. So when people talk about all these prophecies being fulfilled, I'm a lot more comfortable saying, no, what we see today is the stage being set. All these things we see happening in the world, like globalism, the rise of Russia, the rise of Iran, all the turmoil in the Middle East that's paving the way for the rise of Antichrist and that treaty that he's, he's going to uh, bring that's going to bring peace, at least temporary, temporarily, to the Middle East. All these things are setting the stage and they're taking place, but they're not the fulfillment of prophecy. So Israel being regathered, apostasy. Uh, these are the two main prophecies that I see being uh, fulfilled today. So hopefully that'll help you when you hear people talk about prophecies being fulfilled and some of the confusion uh, that's out there on this topic. Well, thank you again for joining us for another episode. God bless you. We hope to see you next time.